Turning right now to vote 2016, we are just now four weeks away from election day. The countdown clock is ticking down into the general election, which is in November. And Local 10 wants to make sure that you know about the races before you head to the polls. Today, we're taking a closer look at the fight for Congressional District 25. It stretches from the suburbs of West Miami-Dade along Alligator Alley and into Naples. Incumbent Mario diaz Ballard is facing a challenge from a first-time politician. Here are their platforms. There's no doubt that there is this incredible bickering and partisan infighting in Washington, D.C. But here's the thing. I actually am known to get things done. Republican Mario diaz Ballard is a well-known congressman running for re-election. Born in Fort Lauderdale, diaz Ballard served in the Florida State House and Senate, and he's been a member of the U.S. House, representing South Florida since 2002, serving on the powerful House Appropriations Committee. While cutting taxes, I'm also known as the person who's gotten hundreds of millions of millions of dollars for Everglades restoration, hundreds of millions millions of dollars for transportation projects. He has also opposed the opening of relations with Cuba and thinks Obamacare ought to be repealed and replaced. It hasn't worked. The costs have gone up. I really do not feel that he is representing what the people need. This is his opponent, Democrat Alina Valdez, who's lived in South Florida for 16 years. Born in Cuba, raised in New York, Valdez is a physician who volunteers at a homeless shelter in Dania Beach. She has never held political office. I've been living in District 25 for five years. The first time I kind of got a little bug in my head to try to do something was in 2011 when I saw how dysfunctional Congress was. She thinks the U.S. embargo on Cuba should be lifted with conditions and believes Obamacare is flawed, but that it is working. Replace with what? I still haven't heard a plan. If it's replaced with what we had before, we're going to kick off 20, 30 million people from insured roles and they're going to be back to the same situation. Now, both of these candidates had a lot more to say, so for more information and for a link to their campaign websites, go to our website, local10.com.